If I may say so, your excellency has greatly improved. Thank you, Oliver. I'm glad you think so. I feel as slippery as a worm. No. <laughs> and your court is your excellency. I trust your excellency approves of them? My excellency approves. Very nice. Very nice. I suppose I have larger rooms for more formal occasions. Why, of course, Your Excellency. You have your state chambers, your private trial room, your personal torture chamber, and yeah, your... That, 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 that's enough. Now, what do I do? Do, Your Excellency? You govern. You govern France. Oh, yes, of course, I, I govern. <clears throat> uh, do you spell de Montcorbier with a small or a capital D? Small. Small. Middle. Now, we'd better start at the beginning. We are still besieged by the Burgundians, I believe. At last reports we were, Your Excellency. Uh-huh, well, that takes care of that. Now, uh, uh, the food situation. Oh, we have enough for six months. Uh-huh, well, that seems to take care Who has enough for six months? Why, the palace and the army, my lord. And what about the people? The people? Oh, you mean the the people? Yes, th that's who I mean. <laughs> the people are hardly a military factor, my lord. No, of course not. Now tell me, my friend, how does a grand constable fill up his day? Well, first he inspects the guard, reports to his majesty, attends levies, and tries all prisoners, both civil and military. Prisoners? Have we any prisoners today? Only those arrested last night at the Furcon Tavern, Your Excellency. What? Are they still here? Of course. I'm expected to try them? Of course. Ah, when? Oh, at your convenience. There's no hurry. No hurry? If you'd been shut up in a slimy dungeon, fearful, hopeless, thinking each moment were your last, you'd know whether there was any hurry or not. I, 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 I meant no offense, Your Excellency. No, of course not, you. The worst offense is surely ignorance. Come, let's try the prisoners immediately. Uh, yes, my lord. This way, my lord. Uh, this way, my lord. His majesty's compliments. And will you attend him in the throne room to meet the court? My compliments to his majesty. But I have some prisoners to try immediately. But, my lord, I hardly think his majesty will enjoy being kept waiting. <laughs> Neither would the prisoners. Come on, Oliver. Uh, but, my lord. Yes, yes, he, um, he comes from Nancy. But if this de Montcorbier comes from Nancy, Your Majesty, uh, how did he get through the Burgundian line? Uh, well, there's a, uh, such a thing as a flag of truce, my dear. A flag of truce? Oh, but of course. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. Your Majesty, my lords and ladies, the court will remain assembled. Come along. My lord. Your Excellency, the prisoners before you are charged with violating the curfew, assault and battery, Suspicion of conspiracy. Suspicion of having participated in the robbery of the king's storehouse, receiving stolen goods, and showing armed resistance to arrest. Mm. Give me their names. Robin Turgis. Uh, yes, your majesty. I didn't have anything to do with it, your dignity. All I did was receive a paper from one man and give it to another man. And I had the slightest idea it had anything to do with the enemy. So help me. <clears throat> and yet you received a hundred gold pieces for each transaction, I believe? That's a lie, your dignity. All I got was ten. If anybody got a hundred pieces, it wasn't me. All I got was ten. I only did it five times. I got fifty pieces here to prove it. Because I wouldn't touch the filthy money. Robin Turgis, you're a thief. 
the receiver of stolen goods, the conspirator, and worst of all, you water your wine. But, my lord... Silence! If I had it within my power, I'd have you hanged and strangled, roasted over a slow fire, and boiled in your own diluted wine. However, his sovereign majesty, Louis XI, defender of the face and champion of the people, has decided on a new policy of extreme mercy. So, I am reluctantly constrained to fine you, oh, 50 gold pieces, which you will pay to the captain of the watch. Does that mean that I am free? It means you are entirely free. Now, get out! Free! Oh! Oh! Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! Long Next, we have René de Montigny, Guy Tabary, Colin de Cailleux, Cazin Cholet, Jean Leloup. <laughs> as fine a bunch of rascals as I've ever seen. Are you guilty or not guilty? There must be some mistake, my lord. Not guilty, Your Honor. I was home in bed. I'm only a poor locksmith, Your Honor. And I studied for the class, Your Honor. René de Montigny, you were seen leaving the king's storehouse in company with the gentleman on your left and that arch rogue, Francois Villon. That's a lie, Your Honor. Villon was with me all the time the storehouse was being robbed. Oh, and how did you know the storehouse was being robbed? You just said so. Didn't he say so? Oh, I don't know anything about it. I was home in bed. Ladies, ladies, you must not disrupt the dignity of this court. Island! Now, René de Montigny, did you rob the king's storehouse or didn't you? Storehouse? Why, well, I didn't even know he had a storehouse. Neither did I. I'm just a poor but honest locksmith. And I was home in bed. So was I. We were all in bed. It is becoming more and more evident that a grave injustice has been committed. Since you were all home in bed, you can't possibly have robbed His Majesty's storehouse. Probably this Vion did it all by himself. That's a lie. He was with me, I tell you. I won't ask you where. Now, if you will let me finish what I was saying. Since it is apparent you are all innocent and have in consequence suffered false imprisonment, I am unfortunately obliged to award you damages. Much as it pains me, I decree that you shall each receive seven gold pieces. The captain of the watch has in his charge 50 gold pieces. Seven times seven being uh, 49. There will be one piece left over, which you will give to the poor captain. Uh, without fail, Your Excellency. Long live the king! Long live the king! Long, Long live, live the king! king. I echo your sentiments regarding the life of the king, but do not be deceived. His majesty is not hoodwinked. If he forgives you in this instance, it is because he knows also that you were hungry, and he hopes that his kindness toward you will breed a little decency in your own hearts, which I doubt. Now, get out! Long live the king! Can I ask a question, my lord? No, you may not. Oh, just one moment, Captain. You may go. Uh, my lord. Oh. What is it, my child? Could you tell me if Vion is safe? At the present time, yes. Thank heaven and God bless his majesty. <laughs> Amen to that. Why are you so interested in this rascal? Because I love him. Oh, he's a dog if there ever was one, but... but I love him. He doesn't deserve it. Oh, I know that. Your name is Zuguette, isn't it? 
Yes, Your Honor. Leon spoke to me about you. He said you might ask about him, and if you did, to tell you he doesn't deserve your affection. And to give you this ring. Isn't he wonderful? Thank you, my lord. I wonder who he stole it from. Will they free him, too? Oh, probably. Thank you, my lord, for all your kindness. <laughs> 